It's Dragon Boat Festival today. We're in the centre of Beijing to watch some dragon boat racing and to eat some seriously sticky stuff. Zhongzi. So this is a zhongzi and it's made by stuffing bamboo leaves with a concoction of glutinous rice and lots of other ingredients. It's then wrapped up in a triangle and steamed or boiled at the end of which you get the sticky goodness inside. The name Duangwu Jie, which is Dragon Boat Festival in Chinese, has nothing to do with dragons, or boats for that matter. Over 2,000 years ago, a famous poet called Xu Yuan committed suicide by jumping to the lake while in exile. The locals got so angry, they paddled down the river trying to rescue the man. But to make sure the fish don't get him either, they threw these things, zhongzi, into the lake. So today we don't really throw the zhongzi anymore. Oh. We mostly just eat them. So we bought a bunch of different zongzi from the high street, supermarkets and restaurants. And I've got my mate Dominique here and we're going to test them all out for you. We're going to start off with the traditional ones. This is a jujube one. So jujube are these like red dates and they're normally dried. So my friend Claire, who's a Beijing, has also joined. And this is like my favorite one. <laughs> Pickled duck egg is also one of my favorite, but it's definitely a southern tradition. Pickled duck egg, if you've never had it, is amazing. It's just a duck egg, go for yeah. it. Sometimes you get, you actually see the beans and sometimes it's just a mix of the paste. Next, we're gonna try the eight treasure. I think there's like an oddity in there, which I've not seen before. This is this green thing. What is this? Oh no, that's just the date. Dominique, put down the savory zones so we're moving <laughs> on. Green tea matcha. That's so interesting, why would they Matcha, yeah, matcha is really just popular with young people in China. I think like matcha tea, yeah, and the drinks, drinks um, and there's obviously also the Japanese influencing mochi mo mo mochi. in the mo mo mochi. <laughs> it is, oh, green. and it looks Worth really it. gross and green. <laughs> does it taste of matcha? Yeah, and the mixture is quite nice. Mm. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty wild, but not really wild enough for me. Sorry. Okay, move on, moving on to the more wild ones. Yeah, we need more than Mickey Mouse and one? Minnie Mouse. I think they just eat this stuff in Guangxi on the side of a river yeah. in ethnic minority beautiful dressing every day. Yeah. This is from 7-Eleven. They hollow out the bamboo in the middle, break it open with my strength <laughs> of Hercules. I think there's lots of pickled veg in there. We love pickled veg, like xian cai, savory pickled veg. We just stuff <laughs> it into anything. Better. <laughs> Icy dumpling. What do you think of the name? That's kind of weird. Jiaozi. Yeah. Yeah, I would never. I don't think I would call it a dumpling. Coffee flavored. It's a peach. <laughs> um, this Definitely is caramel. It's so cold. It takes a while to actually feel what you're tasting. <laughs> and the texture is completely different, isn't it's interesting. it? Interesting. From yeah. the rice. I'm not quite sure how to describe it. The smooth kind of texture compared to the oh, rice. Like a dessert. Yeah. It's like a jelly almost. Jelly. So it doesn't break, it sticks together. Okay, well those were the wild and wonderful zongzi. What do we think guys? Favourite zongzi? Well, you know me. I'll try like <laughs> the salty one. Have you finished yet? <laughs> I'm always going with the um, digital type, but the motor one is interesting. So these are what they threw into the river. Too much waste. I, I, I'm gonna eat this later. It's what people do anyway. Eat it. Nobody throws it into the river these days. 